So in this video, I'm going to look at the ways that you can still get a character and get it up to level 80 and you can get it ready for the latest content that's coming out. So first of all, uh, good news. We actually have something called Joyous Journeys at the moment for all characters under level 80. Now basically what this means is all XP gains are going to be increased by 50%. So firstly, how do you get to level 80? Well, there's three main methods. There's the regular kind of questing and grinding that you would do on nearly every character. We also have the option of doing dungeons here. So, for example, I could look for Lower Black Rock Spire, Black Rock Depths and Sunken Temple. There's also another way of leveling and that is if you click on the item the icon at the bottom that says player versus player we now have Alterac Valley, Atari Basin and Warsaw Gulch and these basically give you a little bit of experience points. Alterac Valley especially on certain weekends will give you absolutely tons of experience especially when you get to about level 70 to 80. So here we have a few tips which I'm going to share with you guys. There are two add-ons that I would highly recommend. You can download a program called Wow Up, or you can download CurseForge, whatever your preferred uh, download add-on handler is. And I would say that you definitely need to get Atlas Loot, and you should also get Taco Tip. When you reach level 80, that's not really the end of the game. Taco Tip will basically display an eye level on your character. Every single item, that you have in the game on your character has an eye level and all of these are added together for example on my boomkin here my eye level is 942 which is incredibly low but not bad considering i'm still leveling and i'm level 53. when you do get to level 80 your eye level is probably going to be pretty low it could be anywhere from 2000 to 3000 or whatever so Here's a really rough guide that I created. If your eye level is below, say, 3,800, then I would recommend you do a few normal dungeons. You'd be looking at the 75 to 80 range. I would be looking at dungeons like the Violet Hold on normal, um, Upguard Keep, Upguard Pinnacle, the Culling of Strat Home's really good, Halls of Lightning, Halls of Stone. We could say on normal, maybe I need this item, for example. I want this item so you could go and you could do the oculus in normal uh, a few times it might be harder to find a group but um, this is a good way of basically leveling up your eye level don't worry too much about your eye level but if you do content that's too difficult for you obviously that can kind of cause issues with you i would say around about the uh, level 3800 to 4000 you can start doing some of the easier raids so coming back to Atlas Loot, you could look at uh, Nax Ramus, for example. You've got two options. You've got the 10 man, number 25. Now, at this stage of the game, I don't think either are going to be too challenging. But again, you can just use the group finder to uh, try to find a nice Nax Ramus group, for example. And I would look at one which is like a complete run. There are skip runs where you just do the final two bosses. But then the complete runs basically will run you all the way through and there's so much good loot that you could potentially get here. Uh, this should absolutely catapult your eye level up. I will probably say that after two Nax Ramus runs you should have some pretty good gear and you're probably ready for uh, Heroic and Heroic Plus almost. So okay let's say you've done a bunch of uh, the raids and you've got some really nice drops. I would say the 4200 would be a good eye level to start doing the heroics and the uh, heroic plus dungeons. Now it's probably a bit easier for a DPS to basically do the heroic plus. If you're a tank or you're a healer you might want to get a higher eye level than 4200 before you start doing these. This should basically get you nearly every item uh, around about 200 eye level or more and personally I think when your eye level reaches around about 4400 then you should start trying to get into Aldoar raids. 
Now, the first Adwar raid, you might struggle a little bit. Again, probably easier being a DPS than uh, a tank or a healer here. I basically leveled a Death Knight, I think, from level 50 all the way up to level 80. And I'm about 4,700 at the moment. So I'm sort of doing Adwar at the moment. And I'm kind of basically ready for the next content phase to drop. But uh, yeah, I hope that guide has been useful. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you agree with these numbers? Again, the add-ons to get but are the minimum, I would say, are Atlas Salute and Taco Tips. Or Taco Tip. And remember, Joyous Journeys is going to be around for about three weeks. So it's going to be a stretch to go from level 0 all the le way to level 80. But I think you could get most of the way there anyway. Uh, so yeah, still might be a good time to sort of join in in the game if you haven't already and i will speak to you guys soon